Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Well, photography would be um, among the top five things in my life, I think. Photography, writing, our kids, uh, music, and place in the in the largest sense, I think. And photography has been um, in my life for a long time. Like I, I grew up on a a small farm in Saskatchewan, on uh, the prairies of Canada. And one of the one, an early Christmas gift I got from my parents was a camera. And um, I, th- I guess they, they knew me better than I knew myself because uh, sure enough, I turned out to really, really love taking photographs. This was long before digital cameras, of course. Um, so I had to take pictures. And then because we were on a farm, I had to mail them away and, you know, it would take three weeks for them to come back. And then when I got them back, you know, I would study them and I'd figure out what worked, what didn't work. And I just, I loved doing that. I mean, I still have photographs from, from that long ago. And I loved taking photographs of the sky and of the landscape. I don't know if you've ever been out to the prairies of Canada, but they are flat and majestic and bleak in the winter. You know, they they change so much. I just loved taking photographs of it. It it I think it connects to to my very long-standing interest in in memory. And I, I don't just mean that, you know, we all think about our memories, but, you know, it's fascinated me um, when I was teaching um, English literature courses at a university. I taught a course, I designed a course called Literature and Memory or something like, something like that. And, um, you know, it was all about texts that are, have a particular connection to, to memory you know, Proust's uh, In Remembrance of Things Past, Remembrance of Things Past, things like that. There's another um, really interesting short story by Borges called Funes the Memorius, which is about uh, a man who has an incredible memory and uh, so much so that he can't generalize. He can no longer, he, he can never, he's never been able to generalize. And um, it becomes a problem for him because he, everything that he experiences becomes like a distinct event. So th- those kinds of things uh, have always fascinated me. And photography is a way of kind of capturing memory, but in another way, making us realize how, how distorted our memories can become, you know, because maybe I don't look at a photograph for a number of years and then I finally do. And I go, Oh, that's not how I was remembering it. You know, at the same time, a photograph isn't just a, an accurate portrayal of reality either. You know, it depends on the camera lens and the lighting and framing and so many things like that. More and more um, about how one edits edit, edits the po- photographs after uh, one takes it. And of course, with uh, things like DALI, you know, the artificial intelligence, that's changing things even more so. So yeah, I guess I guess to go back to what I was saying at the beginning, um, photography is really, really, really important to me. I can't imagine having a life in which I didn't do that daily. In fact, today I forgot to bring my camera with me to work. And there were so many things along the way that I thought, oh, I wish I had my camera. I want to take a picture of this or that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh man, I love it. The Mark Morton, uh, Mark Morton, you know, the train came in, Mark Morton came in and, um, I love it. I love it. Look, big breath. Thank you for, for, for joining me on the podcast. I just, I love how everybody, look, everybody answers the question a little differently. Everybody has a different relationship. We're just meeting for the first time. I did mm-hmm. not research you. I did not look at the yep. photographs. Uh, we're just meeting. Mark Morton, you're Canadian. Yeah. I'm Canadian. I'm from Montreal. Are you? Where are you right now? Right now, I'm in um, Kitchener, which is about an hour okay. outside of Toronto. Yep, exactly. Okay. Uh, so I've been to Kitchener. I have not been... You, you started speaking about uh, the, the, the prairies and... Yeah. 
and the big sky and the landscape and I haven't been, yeah. but that's what I know, right? I know about that part of the place. And there's something really comforting in, you know, in how you speak, in your accent, in the cadence mm. of your words and all this stuff. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, come on, brother. <laughs> uh, look, listen, we, we only have an hour. It's going to go by really quickly. Yeah. And I want to get to your photo. Sure. So should we go into your first photo? Yeah, yeah. Um, which uh, do you have them in a particular order, or just? Uh... Well, I have them in my in my folder, and uh, I'm I'm looking at them now. So the first one uh, is. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes, shooting it 